fly to the highlands in the heart of Brazil to see the country's soaring capital, a groundbreaking example of futuristic urban planning. With a city center shaped like a bird in flight, Brasilia was designed to be viewed from above. Come and explore this inspirational hub of cutting-edge architecture. Brasilia is a daring example of new beginnings and innovative designs. Built from the ground up as the new capital of Brazil, it is the country's pathway to the future. In 1956, President Kubitschek set out to transform this once sparsely populated central plateau into an urban utopia. It took him less than five years, an achievement that made him a national hero. Brasilia was such a remarkable feat of rapid development that it's now classified as a World Heritage Site. You can look at Brasilia as a giant work of installation art, with its curving lines, its abstract shapes, and its symmetrical layout. The whole city was shaped around the wide open space of the Praça dos Tres Poderes. Admire the facade of the Planalto Palace, the seat of government. This perfect example of modernism was designed by Oscar Niemeyer. The prolific Brazilian architect dreamt up a wealth of elegant buildings for the new city. Many of his designs seem to delicately balance on the surface of the earth. The architect loved free-flowing structures and, in his own words, tried to push the potential of concrete to its limits. The result is both functional and exciting. You'll find that there is a harmony in every element of the city, from its layout to the architecture of its official buildings. Take the monumental axis. Its avenues run parallel, creating order, but the space is filled with the most contrasting shapes imaginable, like an abstract painting on this once blank canvas. The energy of Niemeyer's creations comes pouring out of the Ministry of Justice, flows past the National Museum, and comes right through the huge Itamarachi Palace. Squint your eyes and you can almost see this energy spiral upwards in the bright halls of the National Theatre. Finally, it manages to ignite the national pride in the pantheon of the fatherland and freedom. Note how the TV tower creates the perfect counterpoint for the twin towers and bowl of the National Congress. And the shape of the National Museum stands in stark contrast to the Metropolitan Cathedral next door. Stare up at its unusual bell tower and then step inside to see the angels glide down from the heavens above. You can see why Niemeyer received architecture's highest award for this heavenly design. With 2.8 million people, Brasilia is a bustling city, and it's best to make your way around by taxi or rental car. You can escape the crowds in the Don Bosco Sanctuary. Bosco was an Italian saint who, all the way back in the 19th century, had already predicted a futuristic city in this part of the New World just like the one that Niemeyer created. Oscar Niemeyer devoted much of his life to creating imaginative new works for the vast exhibition space that Brasilia presented. A visit to this remarkable capital is like paying homage to his legacy to the world.